We'll now look at viewing activity or transactions book to these codes or records. We'll look at editing codes, deleting codes, adding new codes and a couple of other things. So let's go down to overheads and let's look at the activity on rent. So the way we do that is by double clicking on rent, clicking activity and then we then get this box up here that shows all transactions booked to this code so any transaction booked under rent is displayed here we can filter this information or lay out this information just like the list by clicking these boxes here so in sage transaction number order by date order or reverse date order by alphabetical details order by the amount numerically or reverse numerically and also by debit and credit amounts so this will show all transactions booked to 7100 under rent let's look at another one let's look under hotels click activity so just one transaction booked here 9th of the 5th 2009 for 720 pounds so you get there by double clicking and clicking the activity tab you can also click on a record and click the activity icon here and you'll get this box appear so it's the same box but it doesn't have the tabs at the top so how do we edit a record well let's go back to rent 7100 if we double click we have the code appear we have the name the balance and we have a breakdown of the transactions booked to this record per month in the financial year so there's nothing on this record as there was nothing booked to this account in this financial year there from previous financial years but if we want to edit the name of the code click on name in here so we might want to put rent premises a we may have two premises so let's put premises a click save you'll notice that the name has been edited let's do hotels so 7402 double click under name we'll put director A. We may want to filter hotels by what directors stay there. Click save and you'll see that's changed. You can't edit the code itself once the code is set you can't edit it but you can edit the name of the code. So how do you delete codes? You may have a number of codes on Sage that you'll feel you'll never use and just make things more complicated for you so you may want to have a bit of a clear out and delete some of these codes and that's fine and it's very easy to do I would just warn you not to delete any codes you're unsure about especially asset and liability codes as your accountant may need to use them at year end if you do delete them it's not a problem he can just add them back in but I would suggest you don't delete anything you're unsure about so let's delete something we feel that we'll never need such as currency charges 7902 we can do this in two ways we can highlight the code and click delete or then ask for a confirmation click yes and it will be deleted let's do equipment hire we can also delete by double clicking click delete and click yes so those records are now gone if you have any transactions put to a record you won't be able to delete that record such as laundry here has 50 pounds or 50 dollars booked to that code if we try and delete that click yes it will say it's unable to you can't delete records or nominal codes that have transactions booked to them so let's add a new record or new nominal code click the new icon at the top left here 
This wizard will appear that says nominal record. It asks for a name for the nominal record. Let's put in rent for premises B, so our second premises. It asks what type you want the nominal code to be. Well, this is an overhead. Let's click overheads. And then ask for a category, rent and rates, and it will give the code for you automatically. So 7101. Let's click next. It would ask, ask if you want a, an open imbalance on the account. 99.9% .9 of the time, there won't be an open imbalance. You may have an open imbalance to put on the code if you're transferring halfway through a financial year to Sage from another piece of software. If you have any questions on how to do that, just get in contact with me. So let's click Create. 7101 was the number it gave us. Let's find it. Here we go, Rent Premises B. If we wanted to then edit that name, we can here, like I showed you. We can also delete that record if we wanted to. So let's add another one. Let's do a sales code this time. So let's do sales by director A. So we may want to filter sales by who made the sales. Sales as the type, category. Let's do product sales. It gives us the code automatically, 4005. Click next. Do we want to put an open imbalance? No, we don't create and let's go to 4005 sales directory now if you want to get through this information quicker or get down to a code quicker we can just click the first number of the code um, to get to that information quicker for example we're at the top here at 0030. If we want to go down to the 7000 codes, if we just click 7 on our keypad on the keyboard, it will take us down to the 7000 codes. If we want to go to the sales codes, which are 4000, it will take us to the 4000 codes by clicking 4. You can also do this by filtering by name and clicking the first letter of the name you're after. So if we want office, expenses or office equipment click O it will take us down to the O's if we want to go to the B's click B it will take us to the B's let's put information back into nominal code numerical order you can display the information slightly differently we have a list if we go to analyzer you'll get this screen appear this gives us a breakdown of the codes and puts them into categories and types. So the codes for sales are all under total sales and then under a subcategory such as product sales, they're all here. Overheads, rent and rates, here's the one which is created and edited. 90% of people that I train and talk to prefer the list, but you may prefer the analyzer. It's up to you.